Yeah. Questions from worksheet eight. Haven? Seven? Seven, please. Half-Life. Oh, yeah, this is a class we didn't get to everything, so we definitely need to do some examples yeah, we here. We didn't even get to the worksheet. We were still on the notes. Number seven. Half-Life of polonium is 140 days. So that's telling me what H is. That's how long it takes for polonium to, to decay to half of what it was. If you start with 20... How long will it take until there are 15? Well, the half-life formula is probably the easiest one to recognize because it has a half in the formula. No excuse for picking the wrong formula when it's a half-life problem. So I need to figure out A, P, T, and H. Uh, we already said H was 140. That's how long it takes to to decay <coughs> by half. What's the A? It is the amount. What do I like to say A stands for? Uh, after. after. So which number is the after number? 15. P is the principal, but I like to say it's the pre. So what's the pre number? 20. What's the time? All right, we don't know. That's what we're looking for. Is and then 210 is just the name of the, uh, what's the word? Isotope. Look at me. I'm going to go teach chemistry because I know the word isotope. Is this N? N is 140, right? Well, that's an H, but yes, oh. H is 140. H. Okay. So fill in the blanks, and now I want to solve for T. What should I do first to start to get T first? Let's divide by 20. Um, you would have a calculator for this part of the test. So you don't need to worry about 1 plus 1. 15 divided by 20 is 0.75. You could leave it as 15 over 20 if you wanted to. But 0.75 is easy. Uh, it's just if you get a weird decimal, sometimes people will leave the fraction rather than have to write out a weird decimal. And we got the LN thing. Like if it was... 13 over 43, it might be easier to just leave it as 13 over 43. Yes, so let's, that's LN both sides. Why do we want to natural log both sides? Get rid of the top thingy. That's, that's basically correct. T over 140, natural log of 0.5. Okay. That's the key step, because this is no longer an exponent equation. This is like an Algebra 1 equation with weird numbers. Natural log of 0.75 is a weird number, but it's just a number. Natural log of 0.5, weird number, but just a number. So what do I do to get t by itself? All right, times 140. That'll cancel out the 140. What else could I do? Let's do it all at once here. So I don't have to take up more space. Divide by you can take out the Let's divide by natural log 0.5. Okay. So now we've got t by itself equals 140 natural log 0.75 divided by natural log of 0.5. Now it's a calculator issue. Carefully, um, this might be a good candidate for the numerator and denominator bar thing, fraction bar. Oops. Oof. Um, it has to be natural log, not log. Well, actually, you could have used either one, but since I used natural log, make sure you hit the right button. I typed the wrong thing. Natural log 0.75. And having the answer choices there is nice because like if your answer shows up, you'll feel good that, yep, that's the one I got. Yeah. <coughs> I almost 
hesitate to say this because this is the method I would like you to use. I think it's the fastest method. I think it's the best method. If you got stuck and you weren't sure what to do, do you know a different way to figure out which one of these is correct? You could just plug it in. Guess you could you just check. plug it in, kind of guess and check. Now, that might take a while because it's a complicated equation. Not really, because you can just copy and paste the equation. That's true, too. 0.5 to the 58.105. And certainly, if your answer is, is A, yeah. it's easiest. Yeah, that's pretty much 15. So, not really what we want you to do, but hey, it's a multiple choice test. So, use the strategies that you know for multiple choice and, and you know, guess and check. Times yeah, because I used the... I used this formula and I was hoping to get 15 as an answer and I got 15.0000000 so that's and, you just plug in the and hey especially if it's the answer choice A then I don't have to check the rest of them so for these <coughs> word problems are there going to be open-ended questions or is it just going to be like the test um, ask me that again when we finish this because I'll answer when, that so would we still if we did do it that second way we have to write the equations and all that. Um, I would like I would like you to write this equation so I know you picked the right one. Plus that way you'll know what you're plugging in. And that you know even if you do it that way, you've at least got to use the right equation for that way to work. Mm -hmm. You still have to know what some of these things are. Yeah. Um, and so my guess is if you got the 15 and the 20 backwards, maybe that leads to one of those answers. If you got the one for I don't know. So even doing the guess and check way, you still have to know which equation to use and where to put the stuff. Yeah. So it's not like you're completely cheating the system. You still got to know something to, to use that way. Good question. What else? Um, number eight. <laughs> number eight. Another half life one. Uh, no, decay. Oh wait, no half life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's half life is a is a special case of decay. Half-life of polonium-239 is 24,000 years. If 10 grams of plutonium was released in the Chernobyl nuclear accident, how long will it take for the 10 grams to decay to 1 gram? Probably a really long time. Um, so this is half-life. Half-life formula. So A equals P. 0.5 to the t over h. So I need a, p, t, and h. The after. What is a? What's the after? One gram to decay to one gram. P is 10. That's the before. T is the unknown. And h is 24,110. Again, you could guess and check. I'm going to do it the, the real way since I'm the math teacher, but yes, you could guess and check. And divide both sides by 10. And then natural log both sides. <coughs> Depending on which answer it is, I, I might beat some of you. You guess and checkers. Because now I can go to the calculator. I'll even go one more step. Twenty-four thousand one hundred ten. <coughs> natural log point one divided by natural log point five. Eighty thousand ninety-one. That probably was to my benefit because their correct answer wasn't until choice D. So guess and checkers would be... Actually, I started on choice C. Or, yes, you could guess randomly, but still might not guess D. Um, let's see. It's estimated that one gram of that plutonium uh, can give cancer to 5,000 people. So we're not getting down to one gram for 80,000 years. Oof. 
So how does the dangers just, of nuclear? It's just like poof, cancer. Like how? Does now how that works, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, but still, how does it? Like you inhale stuff all day that doesn't give you cancer. How does that one give you cancer? It's not. The, it's the dust. It's the radiation. You you me, you med med people. Uh, We've met people. That. You anatomy people. That's not an anatomy, but some of your parents or doctors ask them. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm just guessing. Um, how about questions from the review? Do we need to number six from the review? By the way, number six. Oh, the condensing logs. Let's see. Oh, this this parentheses business has me uh, concerned. I think I'll distribute the two. That's probably the Wait, easiest way to. Right, it goes to the. All right, now I think I think maybe we've done enough of these where I can jump to the one natural log. Anything positive is going to be multiplied and in the top. Anything negative is going to be divided and in the bottom. So 4 squared in the top, 3 to the 6th in the top, 2 to the 5th in the bottom, 81 squared in the bottom. And now it's just this giant game of reducing. Um, let's see. I'm going to rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So that would be 2 to the 4th over 2 to the 5th. That's going to be easy to, to handle. 81 is 3 to, three to something. Three times three four, is four, nine. Four, four, times three is twenty-seven. Times three is eighty-one. So three to the fourth. So two to the fourth over two to the fifth. <coughs> That's a two in the bottom. And three to the sixth over three to the. What do I do with those? Multiply. So 3 to the 8th in the bottom, 3 to the 6th in the top, that'd be 3 squared in the bottom. And yeah, don't leave it, don't leave it blank. Um, that's not an answer choice yet, but 2 times 9 is 18. And that's my answer. Uh, I was a little concerned they were going to say that this was the answer. Would you be okay with negative natural log 18? Because that's that exponent that we move down front. Number seven. That is equivalent to which of the following? I don't think that equal sign needs to be there. That's bonus character there. Um, so let's see, log base, oh, wait a minute, I can't combine all these, these have different bases, so, log base 3 of 9, well, hold on then, I need to think differently about this one, how could I rewrite 9? 3 squared, Wait. because what's log base 3 of 3? That means 3 to what power equals 3? One. 1. So 2 times 2 times 1 is 4. Log base 2 of 2, what's that equal to? Think about the fish hook. 2 to something equals 2. Well, that's 1 as well. <coughs> so 4 plus 1 minus... 
let's see, log base 7 of 14. I'm looking for my answers and I don't see I don't see five plus anything. So what could I do with log base log base seven of fourteen? This is a tricky one. This is definitely a tricky one. That's log base seven of seven times two. which is log base 7 of 7 plus log base 7 of 2 using that condense rule in reverse. This was a great question that you asked. Do you have any stuff like this on my test? Uh, if it's on the review, yes. <laughs> so log base 7 of 7 is 1, right, when the argument and base match. So the 1 minus 1 goes away, and I'm left with 4 minus log base 7 of 2. Surely that's an answer? Yes. And the last tricky part maybe is that distributing the minus sign to both. Otherwise you did all that good log work and ended up with a plus sign. Number 8. All right, same type stuff. Which is equivalent? Okay, if it's in the top, that means it can be added. So natural log 3 plus natural log x to the fourth. <coughs> I'm looking at my answer choices, and um, so far so good. It matches. You can cross out C. I think I can cross out C, but A, B, and C, A, B, and D are all good. This natural log 1 doesn't. Then let's start subtracting. Minus natural log 2 minus natural log of the square root of x squared plus 7. Um, oh, I'm looking at my answer choices, and there's a 1 half out front. Where did this 1 half come from? Yeah, the square root power thing. So natural log 3 plus natural log x to the fourth minus natural log 2 minus 1 half natural log x squared plus 7. So is that one of my answer choices? Oh, close on B, but that's a plus. I don't think D. I can't split those up like that. A looks right, except it's got a 4 out front, and I had a 4 up here. Yeah, that's no big deal. So it's A. So same type stuff. If it's in the top, it's positive. I'm even going to skip to the one-third natural log 7 plus x squared minus natural log x minus natural log of natural log of x. Right? Because I'm natural logging whatever's in the bottom. And I got this double natural log thing. One-third... Two thirds. I don't know where this two thirds came from. Why is it negative ln of these elements? Because I'm natural logging the th stuff that's in the bottom. So I'm natural logging x, and I'm natural logging the natural log of x. All right, whatever's in the bottom gets would subtracted be, with natural would log. Just be L, negative ln x to the x. Because then you just move it around. Well, okay, so that, that's not an answer choice, but yes, you could have put this x up as that x's exponent, if that's what you're saying, yes. But I don't have any answer choices that have an x to an x. <coughs> okay. But you're right, that would be that would be accurate. So which is better Or 
like which one's better for your own personal money, <coughs> compounding continuously. Although, if you, you do the, the math on it and it's like pennies over years, it's not really that big a deal. Is continuous normally less than compound? Well, it's all compounded. That means you're adding interest. Well, yeah. It's compounded daily. The more often you compound, the better. Mm-hmm. So compounding continuously is the best. And compounding continuously would be what, daily? No, it's... It's like monthly. Daily. It's not monthly. It's not daily. It's like it, it means like all the time. It's continuously growing. Like a population of uh, of bacteria that's growing. It's just... Yeah. But it doesn't like... It's not like for your bank statement, at the end of the month, they compound it monthly. Uh-huh. They say, okay, at the end of the month, you had $1,000 in your account. We multiply by 1%, mm-hmm. you get 10 bucks. And then at the end of the next month, we see how much you have. We multiply by 1% and we give you that. That's how compounded uh, so how monthly would work. And how it continuously would work. Like, um, so continuously, you have to use the formula because you, you can't, you're not going to recalculate uh, instantly every time. Yeah, and then it would just be the time that would be... And you would like, use the time. And that would be the variable. Yes. Okay. Banks don't do continuously. That no. it would be too weird. Yeah. Banks do monthly or maybe and quarterly. They'd, they'd also be giving you more money if they did it continuously, yeah. Not much, but a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, do we need to do a solve equation? I gave you your quizzes back, so you could look at those as well. But there's some solving. There's graphing. So you have your old test back as well, so you could look at that. That would help also. You took them back. I did take them back. Sorry. You got to see them at least. Do we need to do an equation like 15 yeah. or 16 or 17? Although 17 looks easy. If you're saying it, then probably. I'm just saying it's because it's on the review. So, um, how about the graph? The graphs weren't great for everybody. <laughs> Let's do the graphs. Or is it gonna? Is it gonna be like this type of graph on the test, or is it gonna be where you actually have to plug in the actual? Well, how we're going to graph these is plug in actual numbers. So for e to the x, we will plug in negative 1, 0, and 1, because that gives us nice answers. e to the negative 1, I said nice answers. How do we force that to be a nice answer? One third ish, right? 1 over e. e to the 0 is 1, and e to the first is 2.7. Negative 1, 1 third, 0, 1, 1, 2.7. And if three points aren't enough for you, well then start start plugging in more. Negative 2 would be 1 ninth, that'd be really down low. 2 would be e squared, that'd be way up there. And then from there, <coughs> the next graphs would be parent functions off of this. So you would just add 2 to the x's or minus 3 from the y's. So if the e was negative, does that mean we would just plug the If the negative was out front, it would flip over the x-axis. If the negative was up here, then it would flip yeah. over the y-axis because your x's would change signs. Natural log. Let's see. We want our argument to be um, 1 because that makes it easy. And what else do we want the argument to be? What's another easy one? Equal to the base. What's the base equal to in this one? E. And then the natural log of E means E to the what would give me E? Is it always going to be e? Just well, if your natural log is, if you use natural log, then yes, it's going to be e. 1, 0, 2.71. Now that's only two points, 
So this is what messed some people up. They got those two points and then they sketched all sorts of things. Another thing to remember is that um, that might help you. The graphs of these two things are reflections across y equals x because they're inverses. This is old algebra stuff. So if I fold that across y equals x, it's going to look like that. You could also just switch the x's and y's from that one. Other questions? Can you do an equ equation? Like number 15 worries me? Just the algebra on number 15? Yep, multiply the right by e to the x. Yep, and then what? Uh, I don't want a natural log yet. Subtract e to the x to get them all on one side. Oops. Wait, what's 5 e to the x minus e to the x? You're not going to cancel those e to the x's, I hope. 4 e to the x. 5 apples minus 1 apple is 4 apples. Divide by 4. natural log both sides and for this one you're done because that x comes down front natural log of e is 1 and so natural log of 1 fourth so number 5 from worksheet 8 the population of Texas was 20.4 million in the year 2000 was expected to grow approximately 1.7% each year. According to this prediction, what is the population of Texas in 2021? Well, first question would be, which, which equation is this? 1, 2, 3, or 4? I would say the third. You, you could argue that it's the first with n equals 1, but if n is 1, the first and the third are the same equation. Breaking news there. So, and we're growing, so we'll use the plus. So the after is we don't know. The before is the twenty point four. Point oh one seven. And in 2021, what will we use for T? Um, 21. Yeah, good. Don't put 2021 up there. So now that's a calculus or a calculator problem. $29.065 million. Did anybody uh, look up the current population of Texas? You looked it up? Yeah. And it was 28 million ish. So that approximation was pretty good. <coughs> Number six, a certain catalyst used in a tank at a gas processing plant, does sound like chemistry, is known to deteriorate, decay, at a rate of 5.32% per month. Oh, this is uh, tricky because the per month. In order to be effective, the tank needs at least 100 milligrams of each of catalyst present. If there are 1,000 milligrams in the tank right now, how many months should the plant engineer have the catalyst replenished. Which equation are we talking about here? I think I'd go the first one because it's the monthly thing. 
Although, oh, this is tricky. If I use the first one, time's going to be in years. If I use the third one, I can use time in months. Either one will work. Either one will work. So I think the third one's probably the way to go. And we'll use the minus. 1 minus 0 0.0532. But that's monthly, so that means our time will be in months. So I need to be careful about that. Although those answer choices all look reasonable for, for months. Whoops, I did that wrong, didn't it? I'm going to start at 1,000 and end at 100 because it's decaying. If I tried the, <coughs> the calculator and I had it backwards, you would recognize it in a hurry because something would be really wrong. So divide by 1,000. I suppose I could subtract that if I wanted to, but why bother? Leave it alone. It's going to the calculator eventually. So natural log of 0.1 divided by natural log of 1 minus 0 0.0532. Two months, I need to replenish the catalyst. Now, presumably, this guy is not going to wait until exactly 42 months. That gives him an idea, and so after 36 months, maybe, maybe he goes and checks to make sure his calculations are on track. Maybe he checks it monthly anyway, but this gives him an idea of how often he'll have to replace the whatever chemical is in there. Anything else from the review we've done? We've done a little bit of almost everything, I think. 13 looks a little different, maybe. 13 on the review. Solve for y, so get y by itself. What would you do first to get start to get y by itself? Especially looking at the answers. Do the fish hook thing. Because all the answers have e to something in them. So e to the x squared plus 3 equals 1 minus y. Yeah, this actually isn't. I want you to do the first step. This isn't really that hard. Add y to both sides and then subtract the e to the stuff on it. One minus e to the x squared plus three is c. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Fourteen. Well, fourteen. Again, look at your answer choices if you're not sure what to do. And it seems like natural logging both sides would be a, a good plan. books, but that would be A. All right, what day is your test? Monday. Monday. And the worksheet packet will be due on Monday. Uh, and again, I'll post fourth period's video as well, so if you if you want more help, you could cruise through that one and see more examples.